need Nick Jonas for making this bomb ass tequila. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Joe told me that a young lady had messaged him on Bumble, and he wasn't quite sure how to respond. Daddy's gonna be so jealous that I saw you first. We spent the rest of the morning choosing the perfect response. Sup, girl, seemed too romantic. And hey, came off as a little desperate. The debate got intense, but I finally convinced Joe to respond with So it was you who sent the first message? How do you do? That's right. Meg fell for how do you do? That wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought I was going to cry harder. No, that was good. God. I'm so excited. You and I took a trip to the grocery store In the car we had a PTR Is there anything I should be doing with my hands? Meg, it's hard to say who fell for one another first. But considering you fell ass first down the steps, <laughs> the first time we met at Bayless Street, you beat me to it. <laughs> I love everything about you. Your love for family, friends, and how could I forget Betty? Your love for food and how you can't help yourself but dance with excitement before we eat a bomb ass meal. Oh, I want one of those. You have been there for me through the good times and especially through the rough times. And we wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for you. I vow to do everything I can to put that beautiful smile on your face any chance I get. I vow to always give you a hefty but reasonable time limit in Target when I'm there with you. But if I'm not there, go all out. There's no rules. <laughs> Why are you crying? I vow to be your husband forever, for eternity, and for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> I love you forever and always, Meg. Like it. I love it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Joe, I've said since day one that I wish I could clone you because everyone deserves to have a Joe in their life. I didn't think I would be standing up here thanking a dating app for bringing me my soulmate, but it's true. And thanks to some encouragement from our friends and a swift fall down the steps on a cold January night. You came into my life exactly when I needed you to. You are my lucky penny. I have noticed an increase in my ability to find them since meeting you. And I save every single one. Is that the penny? Except for the one that we managed to lose that I found right before we proposed. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I'm forever thankful that you were all mine. You have loved me through some of my darkest times and I will never be able to thank you enough for that. These are my favorite today. Mm, that's a good answer. I love you more than I will ever be able to put into words. I promise to never get tired of hearing you say, go get her, go get her. when it's go time for you and Benny to wake me up in the morning. I promise to never go to bed angry and always laugh with you when you're trying to make me smile, even when I don't want to. You are my constant, and I promise to be a constant for you for the rest of our days. I love you unconditionally. Mr. and Mrs. Meg and Joe Nozick. Since How Do You Do? I've watched Joe transform from a 59-year-old trapped in a 21-year-old's body to a 46-year-old trapped in a 27-year-old's body. Let's be honest, we all know Meg is the fun one.
One of the most important things that I've learned is how great of a friend Meg is. I gotta flip my ring though, you put it on upside down. No matter the distance between us, I know I can call her at any given time and she'll probably answer on the first ring. It is not hard to see why Meg fell in love with you. You are one of the most hardworking people that I've ever met and you always put our girl first. Your calming presence is a gift that makes a bigger impact on people's lives than any wordy speech or toast ever could make. <laughs> Barb and I would like to thank Tim and Kathy for raising such a great son. Stop or you're making a hamster face. Does every parent dream that their daughter marries a man who loves and respects her and is kind and hard work? We just did it. We did the damn thing. And Joey checks all the boxes. I got this feeling rising to the ceiling. Singing tricky way of moving faster and faster the older that you get. So Meg and Joe, in your marriage, remember to pause and put each other first, even if life, much like Meg's sharp little elbows, tries to get in the way. That's so weird. <laughs> I did a one memorable ride home from the beach. Yeah, but you almost blocked my face. Where Meg insisted that she wanted this Taco Bell stuffed dog that you could buy at this Taco Bell store. We made the management decision because I know as many of you would find it hard to believe uh, <clears throat> Meg's had some bad behavior that week. So we said we're not getting you the dog. I can't do it. Every time we passed a Taco Bell <laughs> or a billboard, she would just howl for this stinking dog. And... Oh my God. brother Matt in 2018 and it's hard to put into words how lucky that makes me but also how blessed I am to officially have gained a little sister as fun generous and caring as Meg I thank God for you every day my only wish for today would have been that my dad Ray and my mother-in-law Lil could have been here to meet Joe I know they would have loved him as much as we do and I know that Joe would have loved them as well Joe, you're marrying one of the best people I know. Meg is loyal, she's loving, she's smart, she's funny, and she's unapologetically herself. You guys are the absolute best match for each other, and as much as I want to take credit for how do you do, <laughs> you two have built this amazing weird, life with each weird, other. Weird, weird. The two of you truly could not be a better match. You balance each other out perfectly. Joe is the calm to Meg's storm and the best dog dad to co-parent with. I wish you a lifetime of patience, loyalty, silliness, adventure, and love. Cheers, guys. Cheers, up. Right?